if s raised to power s raised to power 4 is equal to 64, then s is equal to what? Hi everyone, welcome to my class. In this class, we want to find the value of s. From this given equation, we have s raised to power s raised to power of 4 equal to 64. But before we proceed, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Solution. We have s raised to power s raised to power of 4 equal to 64. If you look at this question, many people will think that it's very difficult, but it's not so difficult as we think. So let's quickly use this method to solve it easily. Then we have s raised to power s raised to power of 4 is equal to 64. Here is x the base and we also have s here raised to power of 4. So what do we do? The next thing is Let's multiply both sides by the power of 4. That is, x raised to power s raised to power of 4. They all multiply by the power of 4 equal to 64. They multiply by the power of 4. Note that if you have y raised to power m, raised to power n is the same thing as y raised to power m n, which is also equal to y raised to power n or raised to power of m. Now, let's use this method to express this. s raised to power s raised to power of 4 or raised to power of 4 can be rewrite as you have s raised to power 4 s raised to power of 4. So, by using this, it's equal to what? 64 raised to power of 4. Now, let's consider the right-hand side. That is 64 raised to power of 4. 64 can be expressed as we have 8 times 8, which is equal to what? 8 square, then which is equal to what? 64. Then this implies that the right-hand side, we have 8 square raised to the power of 4. Then our equation is s raised to the power of 4, s raised to the power of 4 is equal to 8 square raised to the power of 4. Also, we know that if you have y raised to the power m raised to the power of n, the same thing as y raised to the power of m n. Then, therefore, 8 square raised to the power of 4 can be written as 8 raised to the power of 2 times 4, which is equal to what? 8 raised to the power of 8. Then, we have s raised to the power of 4, s raised to the power of 4 is equal to what? 8 raised to the power 8. Now, here we have s raised to the power of 4 equal to what? 8. The we also have the exponent s raised to the power of 4 equal to 8. Then by comparison, by comparing this implies that we have s raised to the power of 4 to be equal to what? 8. Now, if s raised to the power of 4 equal to 8, we want to find the value of s. s will be equal to plus or minus 4th root of 8. Or s is equal to what? 8 raised to the power 1 over what? 4. That is our final answer. If you've enjoyed the class, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. That is the easiest trick to solve this given equation we have s raised to power s raised to power of 4 equal to 64 and from there we have s raised to power s raised to power 4 then we take we multiply both sides by the power of 4 then equal to 64 raised to power of 4 then here we know the relationship that if you have y raised to the power m raised to the power of n is equal to y raised to the power of mn, which is equal to y raised to the power of m raised to the power of n. 
then if you use this to substitute this then the 4 will come here we have s raised to power of 4 raised to power of 4 equal to 64 raised to power of 4 but 64 can be expressed as we have 8 square then 8 square this is 8 square this is equal to 64 and we know that we have 64 to be equal to what 8 square and you know 64 is equal to 8 square then but raised to power 4 here is a square raised to power 4 let's substitute back to the equation and also we note that if you have y raised to power m raised to power of n is equal to y raised to power of m n then this 8 square raised to power 4 can be expressed as 8 square times 4 that is 8 and 2 times 4 is 8 which is equal to 8 raised to power of 8 by comparing we have s raised to the power of 4 is equal to 8 and we don't know the value of s we are looking for the value of x then s is equal to plus or minus 4 root of 8 or s is equal to 8 raised to the power 1 over 4 so that is the final answer if you've enjoyed the class please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe thank you